I know you're not a... You're, Welcome everybody to another edition of Lounge Academy. This is the disembodied voice of Howard, one of your hosts, and uh, we're looking at Ryan Lysars, president of WBIG TV. Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us. Here we are. I'll check the audio. Hello. <laughs> we could see Welcome, Bar Barbara Fisher. Barbara Fisher is out there. This is great. I love it when Barbara Fisher helps oh, us launch the show. It gives yes, me a lot. It's, it's always good to see. Gives Barbara me a lot Fisher. of confidence. Hello, Barbara Fisher. She's a Lounge Academy stalwart. Yes. Big part of Lounge Academy. Much appreciated. And there's Mary working, working the other. The crowd over there, the bleachers, the bleachers are full, and uh, okay. Well, we we got off. We're here. At, in case you're wondering, in case you're new to Lounge Academy, and you haven't been following along weekly for the last twelve years, um, this is Lounge Academy, and that makes you a lounge cadet. And me, I'm, I'm this guy right here. Here's a cameo appearance. Thank you for joining us. And this is, uh, our, our, along with the hosts, Ryan Lysars and myself, is uh, Mary, the better half, Mary Clunz Goldman, on, on uh, our left and your left at home. And, and this is Brenda. Brenda's the one everybody really wants to see because she's in, she's uh, responsible for here at Reality Piano Bar, which is what what this is, by the way. Um, Brenda's responsible for most of the creative writing on the show. Although being being Reality Piano Bar, um, it writes itself around Brenda's uh, jet set lifestyle. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> well, you can see, I mean, she's a natural, isn't she? Look at that. <laughs> Just got my hair cut today. Looks, looks wonderful. Great. Wow, yeah. beautiful. Just got a cut. Underlay. Got rid of the long hair. Oh, well, I, whatever you did, I like it. Thank you. Yeah, I got, I skipped my trim this week. <laughs> I did it last week. I'm on the COVID haircut plan. <laughs> I started cutting my hair during COVID lockdown, like everybody. And uh, not Ryan, though. Not you can me. tell he's got the $300 haircut. <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> and uh, I, I, you know, I'm kind of a do-it-yourselfer <laughs> with everything. That's great. You know, if my transmission breaks, I'll fix it. If I need a haircut, I'm, I'm happy to be able to uh, have the... the the means and know-how. I inherited a dog clipper. It's actually a sheep clipper that my uncle used for his dog, his little wire-haired terrier, back in the 1980s. And it, it's made by... Uh, is it Oster? Is it Oster. Very good. Yeah, Oster, which is I, like a premium brand of hair clipper. For blenders as well. Is that the same company? Yes. It's this thing, this Oster hair clipper I have is extremely well built, it's and like it includes Bakelite. It's like taking what to my a head? Blender. A blender, yes, <laughs> a liquefier. <laughs> now it looks like you guys beat me to the bar. Yeah, we did. We did. Because we we can't delay. So we don't have to do to the bar segment. There's nobody down there. So uh, did oh, you see the sign on the bar? I did see the sign. I didn't remember saying it last week. Lounge, lounge, it says Lounge Academy. You guys, we've all made it to, yes, yeah, yes. to the big time. It was so nice of them to make those signs for us. <laughs> it was. 
you can see we got some beautiful views, some vistas. Um, to dial in the. There we go. Look at the, look at that. Beautiful scenery. It just the Gold Dome Savings Bank, M and T, and the steps to success, and the White House. We've got Main Street right out here. The train goes by every every now and then. And down here we've got a Starbucks for the teetotalers. Oh, there goes the Metro Rail. Get there it goes. And uh, that guy gave us the thumbs up again from the train. He flipped it right up there. Really? Yeah. Pretty sure it was his thumb. <laughs> I met a lovely couple last night at, um, at the, uh, see the, the meetup dinner in Tonawanda. What was the name of that? Meetup. Canal Club, Club 60, 62. 62. And I invited them to come tonight. Oh, well, see, she is the operator. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. We're looking so, forward to, to meeting. Yeah, they were, they were excited. The, a couple. You invited a couple, the couple. Yeah, Donna wow. and, and her Branching husband. Branching out. We'll see. Branching out. Can't wait to see who they are. She's a lot of fun. Are they kids? Like just newlyweds? Like just like out of college? Look our age. Good, good. Our age. Our age. It was safe. So we'll have something in <laughs> we'll have something in common. Yeah. They're mature adults. Yes, mature like, adults. like us. We're looking for fun. In all the wrong places. <laughs> well, um, I guess we're not gonna do the bar walk. Do you really want to? <laughs> We we could just to uh, just to chew up like the, you know the first part of the segment. Let's see if there's any comments. Uh, Dale Pine saying hello. How are you, Dale? Great to see you, my old friend. Our own Andrea is is uh, with us tonight as well, uh, virtually. <laughs> as long as she's with us, yeah, then it's wonderful. Well, if you want to go downstairs, we should we check go. out the bar? I'll stay here and guard the piano. Okay, okay. we're going to split up. This week okay. is a little bit different because, um, you know, last week we had the uh, the basketball games were going on during the first part of the show. Today they won't be starting until it's quieter. There's Marina. Seven o'clock. Oh, they, they're still going on. Yes. I mean, not in Buffalo. It's oh. I meant on the TVs. Okay, because last week it was March Madness right here. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury. Oh, look, the bar is filled. Now, we've got some storylines mm -hmm. creating themselves for us, and that's uh, our very own uh, Gary. Gary Marino is here. And uh, he's he's a he's a co-host of the show of Lounge Academy. <laughs> it's for um, Lounge Academy. It, there's a little uh, marketing thing there for you. It might it might be your bag. Starting a tab. <laughs> this is the first time our market is working over here. I got an inkling now. Oh, it's a better recipe than last time. Yeah. Very relaxing. Everybody. Good. Everyone wants to see Nat. Oh, great, great. Thank Wonderful. You. Thank you very much. You're welcome. We're just going to head up top. Have a good time. Thank you. See that? What happened? See, they saw our new marketing material. I saw that. And yeah. they're running up the escalators. Wow. They're not even, they're they're running up them. Yeah. <laughs> well, now you know what that yes. means, Howard. It means we got to start. means you have to play. It means Marino's going to have to make friends with those people <laughs> so that they feel, they know they're in the, the hip place. What's up, Marino? 
admiring the view, the atrium, the American flag. It is amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's a nice place. I'm going to go for a ride. Marino is now riding the brass escalator. Whee! Nice to see you, Jay Anderson, the bow tie fellow. Oh, that's that's uh, president of WBIG TV, Ryan Lysars. Oh, this is great, great, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> see, the signage is working. I will now switch switch you over to the. To the multi cam situation. Okay, we are now on the studio mic, right, Ryan? Great. Oh, and uh, we, didn't, we didn't get to like chew up too much of the clock. We usually count on that, you know? Well, you'll notice there's a new, a new piece of gear. Oh. Here. Is that picking up the around the piano? Well, that's, that's what it's for. For post production. So, so if somebody, you know. Something clever. It, it has directional capability. And uh, every week is an experiment in not only music and culture, but in technology. So you could, you know, you could take your pick. Um, okay, the cameras are switching. of 1952. What was the name of that show? It was a show, New Faces of, and then a year. You don't know the New Faces one? Yeah, that was, I'm not making it up. It was an actual. Maybe somebody at home can look it up. Academy 
you all come to. Paul Cambria, who's watching from his Rolls Royce or his, uh, his Camaro. How are you, Paul? You got the world's slowest? No. Yeah. It's going to the most cool.
I think about racing one of my black cars. Well, now we've got some real celebrities here to join more celebrities. Welcome back to Amish Academy. Do you know where everything is? Help yourself. McNeil is here. She's known to the world. It's just McNeil, just like Cher and Elvis. Ladies and 
and gentlemen, Dave Wendy is in the house. He's a big actor here down in the theater district and, and beyond. Nice to see you, Mr. Wendy. Fresh tuna, right from the key. Like we'll let the crocodiles smell that, they'll be all over it. Shout out to show business legend Gary Mooney, one of the best known clowns in the business. Turning the 
joke microphone up. Welcome to Lounge Academy. So I see you know, you know Brenda. Brenda knows all the hot spots to go to. Got a picture of your cat. Oh, she's so sweet. What a beautiful cat. I fell in love as soon as I saw that picture. Speaking of show business. Of this type of uh, 
activity. Something new, guys. Oh my gosh, last February, got rid of all this. To spring. Is it officially spring? Yeah, well, that's great. That's, that's, a, that's something. It's a step. sort of lose a friend. It's kind of like making like a hobby that you really liked a lot and turning it into a business. You, you gain a business but you lose a hobby. But could, could it be kind of like that? No, I think of it just as you start having sex with your best friend. <laughs> and how often than not is alcohol involved in that transitional process? Where you start looking at each, you know, Differently. It narrows it down. And then that brings up the gorilla in the room, the elephant in the room. Or gorilla is, um, my theory is there was always, as a rule, there was fraudulent intent on one of the, at least one of the parties, where they never meant it to be a friendship from the beginning and were feigning friendship and just, you know, just not even going for romance. It was my first two marriages. Wow, so you walked the walk. No, that was my first one. Not so much my second. Now, were you the one feigning? Were you the one with fraudulent intent? Well, that helps our informal survey here at Lounge Academy. This is the end of a beautiful friendship. It ended a moment ago.
like brother and sister till tonight when we looked at each other oh that was the end
taken as a proposal, and here we are. Yeah. Yeah. Music can be dangerous. Gotta handle every song like it's a loaded pistol. Careful who you aim it at. So it must have been a pretty good one. I should have known this song had their um, signature scale pattern in the melody. That's a little trick to know Rogers and Hart songs. They they sneak a little scale in there. Just a regular diatonic scale. Where is it in here? Here it is. People fly. Trick in the trade. Patrick is bringing some great stuff for us here at Lounge Academy. Thank you, Patrick Murphy. Notice how he did that? Another big round of applause for Pat for making it so great up here for us. And, and Nat, he, Nat's really the one. We'll give Pat the credit. Welcome to Lounge Academy. Make yourself, that's your seat. Start. The party started. 
Silverstein while you were in New York? No, not that time. This is, uh, this is, uh, yeah. it was about 10 years ago. Oh, I thought this happened like this week. I was 
the full thousand Then get that way I owe a lesson now Oh, a good day business. She's in the style book that you call her McNeil. In the Buffalo News, they called you McNeil. That's how that got started. Like Cher or Elvis. She is. The couple. The, the, the handsome show business couple. The pandemic. The pandemic. I never got it. Did you? Oh, yeah. Did you get it? Together, 
weather-wise, it's such a lovely day. Say the word, we'll meet the bird. Acapulco Bay. It's perfect flying honeymoon. They say, come fly with me. Apologies to Jimmy Van Heusen and Sammy Kahn. They wrote it. Dave, hey, you know what I'm going to do? Um, I'm going I'm to thank the makers of uh, Pure Pure Aqua Bellvia for um, providing the, the, some of the beverages here at Lounge Academy. And um, this goes right into the official Lounge Academy mug. I haven't seen this in a few years. Yeah, isn't it something? No. Yeah. A picture from Facebook popped up with you and me and Mary. Two years ago. Listening to Jocko. Here. It was just like a few weeks ago. It just popped up. Isn't it amazing how time goes by? Actually, you must remember this. Could figure it out. Yeah. You're watching Lounge Academy on WBIG TV. It's our fake TV network. It's also known as my Facebook profile. Soak it in a pail of water before we open it. Better yet. Yeah. Much better. 
Can you just see this jacket match on? It's going to be perfect. It's going to be perfect. I like it a lot. Thank you. I do. I do too. I'm lucky so much. How does it help? Well, at least, for, at, least for, at least for now. I hope it's an Amvet's bag. Oh, it's a tissue. How fancy is it? Oh, and I wish it could manage. Two mics open. That's not good. How did that happen? He says he doesn't like her. She shows up like two hours later. She does the job. You guys have probably been hearing an echo, right? Have you guys been hearing an echo? We had two mics open. It usually causes an echo. Let's check here. One mic, one mic, one mic. One mic. One mic. Unwitting accomplices.
when you get back on your feet again. Everybody wants to be your long-lost friend. I said it straight, without any doubt. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. Nobody knows you. That's good, Melissa. I'm glad to hear that because usually, usually that's a, a grievous mistake when there's two mics on. Ladies and gentlemen, I just play the piano and sing and tell great jokes and pour my guts out to the world, and expose myself. But God is in the room. Alex Leonard, ladies and gentlemen. Alex Leonard's out there in the audience, not in the lounge, the virtual lounge. Right off a big show he did that I, I caught part of it on Facebook today. What a, what a great show that was, Alex. He had a rhythm section with him. Wow album that he produced. 
he did. And it didn't matter of speaking, the, the re-release. Oh, day in and day out. like a St. Anthony's audience. If they could sit on those wooden pews for five hours at a shot, they could do this with sleeping. I'll see what I, yeah, I'll see what I got with me though. If I have a with me, I can. Otherwise, we're going to do it next time for you. I don't see her each day. I miss her. Ooh, that's Nancy. Nancy with the laughing face. guy you know he, I understand he, he like wrote the whole song himself words lyrics the music to do it all himself while he was living a one percenter lifestyle the guy was a big socialite so they tell me whatever that is glimpse of stocking was looked on as something shocking. Now heaven knows anything goes. Good authors who once knew better words now only use four letter words writing prose. Anything goes, the world is mad today, and what's bad today, light today, and what's night today, when most guys today, women prize today, silly jiggles. Though I'm not a great romancer, I know that you're bound to answer when I propose anything Today, 
day and what's night today. Most guys today, that women prize today. They're just silly gigolos. And though I'm not a great romancer, I know that you're bound to answer when I propose anything goes. Great request. One of the best songs. Thank you. They went out to St. Anthony. It's going to help me find the key. Hi, Rebecca. I'm good. Welcome. Oh, my goodness. Well, thank you. Wonderful meeting you. some hamburgers now. Five on Lounge Academy. I was hoping somebody would order those. I wanted to see what they look like. Would you like one? Uh, no, I, I do, but I, you know, I'll make a big mess out of everything. I'll eat your leftovers when I'm done playing. I brought my dog bowl. That was for Edmund Harmonsky. Haremsky, my neighbor. Great guy. Favorite photographer, John Dutkovich. Something took over. Yeah. You know, that, that stuff works. Mary's got a handle on that. If I ever lose anything, Mary's got... She's got people. She's got saints. What, what's Francis? 
When, 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 do, when do we call? When do we speed dial him? Yeah, Mary's got him on speed dial. No, there have been things that could not be explained. Lots of them. And I'm not going to explain them either. Because they can't be. I don't doubt anything anymore. I don't believe anything and I don't doubt anything. Alex Leonard might know the song that this is the verse to. I'll be surprised if he does not, but I'm surprised. For some reason, people have a mental block about this, and even, even the songsmiths. Um, I was never spellbound. See if you can name it that tune, not Alex Leonard, without Googling it. By a starry sky. What is there to moon glow when love has passed you by? Then there came a midnight. Do you know what this is the verse to? Even Guy Boyer, me? No, Paul Kakoda, every time. I, stump him every time and he you can't stump him and the world was new here am I so spellbound darling not by stars but just by you everybody at last, my love has come along. My lonely days are over, and my fear is like a song. wives here's one from the same pair of movies why do Robin sing in December long before the spring 
time is due And even though it's snowing Violets are growing I know why And so do you Why the breezes sigh Every evening Whispering your name as they do And I'm stooping Stars are on my ceiling I know why And so do you I'm in heaven when the music begins. I can see the sun when it's raining, hiding every cloud from my view. And why do I see rainbows when you're in my eyes? I know why, and so do you. I know why, and so do you. Thank you. Does a Harry Warren show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That must be a great show. Well, he wrote like everything that's ever been written. Starship Lounge Academy, beamed right from the atrium in the Hyatt Regency Buffalo. I love saying that name. It sounds so, it sounds so fancy. Sometimes I kind of do it. I love that you kind of do that. I know which book that's in. You'll find it. It's the one that's at home. 
Well, maybe we could kind of do it. What key was that in? That's E flat. Let's try it in uh, just to make it challenging. three months. Requested in 2019. Just getting caught up post COVID, catching up on the requests. Who remembers this one? to you by Jeremy Barone Spinal Care, Chiropractic Nuka Care. He's around the Chicago area, and he pays me 400 bucks to mention his, his, uh, his practice. And here, so I'll be expecting 400 bucks in my PayPal from my nephew Jeremy. Knowing him, he'll send 800. That's the way he is.
Is that your key, Janice Schlau? G? That's a nice key. I should have known. Janice sings in the key of G. Oh, yeah. Once she even broke her G string. And then she couldn't sing in the key of G anymore. so many people lounging and relaxing in this day and age. This is what we need. We need just to have blank, to blank out like this. Feels good, doesn't it? More than ever, people need a lounge. That's why it's so busy. We all need lounge. Quest for Alex Leonard by Peter Allen. You and me, we wanted it all. We wanted it all. Passion without pain. Sunshine without rainy days. We wanted it always. You and me, we reach for the sky. The limit was high. Never giving in. Seen it in your eyes. Look, look how all our dreams came true. See how I've got me. See how you've got you. Through it all, just one thing died. A little thing called. Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Back when we were dumb How did we become so smart? to break each other's heart Look Look how all our dreams came true See how I've got me See how you've got you Through it all Just one thing done A little thing called love Something deep inside You and me We weren't like the rest We once were the best Look what we've become Isn't it a crying shame That we Almost made it, but we wanted it all. Baby, you and me, we wanted it all.
Peter Allen song. I learned that one from Melody, Melody Leibowitz. Thank you, St. Anthony, for bringing us some great guests tonight. Thank you so much. Ooh, thank you. That will hit the spot later on. A slider. Brenda, I like your friends. Really nice. Usually she brings a bunch of hippies in here. Brenda. These are like respectable people. Thank you all. We love you. There they go. Wonderful guests tonight. The type of guests we get here at the Hyatt Regency, Buffalo, Dave Bundy, or Lounge Academy. You can't get more downtown than like where we're sitting, right? Hi, Nick. <laughs> it's Nick, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, you'll never outdo that stunt. And don't try to. much to discover from lover to lover how little we understand what touches off that tingle that sudden explosion when two tingles intermingle who cares to define what chemistry this is Karen Lizzie cares with your lips on mine would oh yeah yeah so long as you kiss me and the world around us shatters how little it matters how little we know It's Nancy. Can I sit next to you? 
Yes, I insist. me a simple question because my answer never never ends. Does it make me nervous if these people are watching you? It, it, it doesn't. It doesn't, which is funny because not, not too long ago it would have terrified me. Really? Yeah. You know they say that um, what the biggest fear is like death and public speaking. Into that category, but I don't know. All of a sudden, I just didn't. You know, maybe like I had a smoke or something. I didn't know about it. Do you use I don't Jackie's, care about anything anymore. Do you consult Jackie's notes? Well, I, I consult Jackie almost every moment, yeah. even if I'm not at the piano. But I have not started. I'm just kind of like savoring this. Sober when they get here. But we do an early, we do an early show here. See, they're not all now they're getting warmed up, you can tell. But when people first come in, they're not in the full like lounge submerging yet. Which is what they need. It's like getting into a hot tub. Because they need to relax. You know, lounging is more important than it's ever been, maybe in the history of mankind. Because we're just inundated with things that kind of rattle us all day long. Really the messages were forced on us. Yeah. You know, everybody wants our attention every second to, yeah. to, to enforce, enforce their opinion on us. Thanks for that beautiful well, thanks. I didn't explain I'm writing a story, did I? No, but I'm married to a journalist, so I kind of figured that out. Yeah, tape recorder's not a fun thing for you. Uh, I kind of dig recording, so you tell me. to restore order. It's like a gavel. But the first phase of the night, most people aren't as loose as Nick when they first get here. Nick's, when they let Nick out, he just goes wild. He's going wild. He came in on his head last time. He rode up the escalator on his head. Interesting. Yeah, scared the heck out of us. But he's fine. He's made out of rubber. First part when when I first come in, that's when they're staring at me. See, if you look around, they're not they're not all staring at me. She's they, they were they were for that moment because that lady over there is staring at you. Because we, we were attracting their attention with with you. But when it first starts out, yeah, they're all staring and they're all stiff. There goes Dave Lundy off to some show business destinations, off to a show. Wonderful to see him. He's looking great. He looks he looks like he's all ready for a big part. Or you just looking like that, looking good like that. You look, you look good. Yeah, I mean, don't take you know, you know what I mean. Ready for ready for the movies more than ever. All that gardening is helping. They bought a big place that takes all kinds of work. McNeil, great seeing you, thank you. We usually get a, a big show business crowd. And I love it, you know, there's no, no better night than when, when you get to entertain the entertainers. Because they understand the pain of the creative process. I almost 
professional. Said, I almost said corny jokes, but then You're I just thinking to yourself, that's funny joke. That's, that's how funny, I am with Mary. That's a funny joke, and I'm, I'm like finding my other point. Professionals yes. don't laugh. Because we're like comedy writers. We yes. laugh at everything. I kind of laugh at everything. But when the night starts and they're all staring at you, that, that is the most uncomfortable part of the night. But 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 I, I dig it because I know like that's when you want to get your traction. And that's when you're needed the most, and that's when they need me the most. Because that's when you're there to break the ice. It's not a concert where they're supposed to watch you. That means that's only allowed to happen in the beginning when they need the ice pro. So you gotta be like the what is that, the SS cutter in the, yeah. the, the Buffalo River? Yeah. You gotta be like an icebreaker like that thing. It just occurred to me I gotta stop so that you can do your thing. Thank you. This is my thing. Okay. I hope I was sound white enough. So way too nice to me. Oh my God. You must have me confused with somebody else. You must have me confused with a gas pump. Here's a wonderful Jimmy Van Heusen song with lyrics by Phil Silvers, of all people. We'll do a hard transition there for Bill Jenkins. Nice to see you, Bill Jenkins. Wonderful. Did they have you aboard? David Vernon's out there, too. This, he's with us, David Vernon. One of my favorite singers in the world. Phil Stiller is here. Here's one for David Vernon. If I don't see her each day, I miss her. Gee, what a thrill. Each time I kiss her, believe me. I've got a case That's Nancy with the laughing face She takes a winter And makes it summer Summer could take Some lessons from her Picture a tomboy in lace Nancy with a laughing face Do you ever hear mission bells ringing? same glow When she speaks you would think it was singing Hear her say Hello oh. I swear to goodness you can't resist her. 
Here's the best line of the song right here. Sorry for you. She has no sister. No one could ever resist. That's Nancy with the laughing face. Jimmy Van Heusen and Phil Silvers. That was for Nancy. There she goes. She got her sound bite. She's out of here. Some people say they're going out to catch a bite. If they're a journalist, that's a sound bite. I know, because I married one. Mr. Mayor, how are you doing? Great, nice to see you. Hi, Stephanie. Nice to, nice to meet you. I saw your name out on Facebook, and uh, maybe you'll show up one of these days. She's drinking at the bar downstairs. Is that where she is? I think maybe she's sending people up. We're getting a lot of people. It's like a sideshow, you know. She, she corrals them. What are you doing downtown? What are you doing downtown? Good to see you. Wow. Oh, that's so great. Now we are, for sure. As late as you want. turns over. They, people can only stand it so long. <laughs> I remember when I was downstairs when I was living here. You were living here? We moved up. Oh, cool. What a cool place to hang out for. Maybe somebody will find me some signs. We can update them. Then again, they might get canceled. Depends what you put on them. Mary's elbow is. Holding hands at midnight, neath the starry sky. Nice work if you can get it. And you can get it if you try. Strolling down that one girl, sighing sigh after sigh. Nice work if you can get it, and you can get it if you try. Just imagine someone waiting for that cottage door. Two hearts became one. Ask for anything more. Love in one, you love you. And then taking that vow. Nice 
this work you can get it and you can get it won't you tell me how that was a classic Gershwin song right there Nice to see you, Mr. Silverstein, lounging with us tonight. We haven't done this song in years, Ari. Studied cast. I gotta adjust the, uh, the deal here. Now you get, I'm gonna give you the view of the vista. The, the cadets silhouetted against the beautiful backdrop of the city of Buffalo skyline. The best vantage point for it. What a way to spend a Friday night. We well, got well, the, the cameras, there's different cameras switching. Switching automatically. Right now it's on you. show business couple, Angela and Alan, as they descend the brass, the shiny brass escalator to their next show business destination. Who did, who's Mary? Uh, someone says she's at the bar downstairs. Bring her up. Don't get trapped down there with her. We don't want to lose you. We don't want to lose Mary either. You're 
were the dream girl of the sweetest story ever told. A dream I've sought both night and day. Sit down. I think I have. Thank you, Mary. Of thee, I see, baby. I sing from of the I sing. It was it was a a, a spoof on uh, on political on presidential elections, or so I'm told. I've not seen the movie or the show. That was from well, it was Gershwin. It was from it was from of the I sing, a, a show by the same name, uh, 1931. A little before our time. Oh, just a little, little bit. bit. Yeah, yeah not, not that much. So, we're, you know, we're closer to that than... Closer to the, to the back side than the front side. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I like that. I love it when we turn the room throughout the night. See, now we're getting the dusk. different crowd. It's a 7.30 crowd instead of a 5 o'clock crowd. Well, you, you go the distance. You're a professional. Yes. Here's when they play on all the telethons. On a clear day, rise and look around you. And you'll see who, who you are on that clear day. How it will astound you. I saw that, Kathy. Outshines every star you'll feel part of. Nick, you can hear from far and near a world you've never heard before.
Sounding is the hardest to achieve. It's very clear. Our love is here to stay. Not for a year. Follies. Did they have, is that the one where they had the Goldwyn Follies of like 1933 and of 1936? And of, they keep redoing it and they have different. It was like a, it was like a car inspection. Probably sounds better far away. Well, thank you. That's good. That was Nick. He's singing all the time. Thank you, David Vernon. We're really entertaining the stars tonight. Oh, 
longer lips combine Then let Let the fire start For this time It isn't fascination Or the dream That would fade and fall away It's love This time it's love My foolish heart Nice job, Nick. That's a passionate song. <laughs> Married a 38? Married at 48? Melody Leibowitz is with us, ladies and gentlemen. Hello back from Buffalo. Melody Leibowitz, oh yeah. Jackie Jocko used to bounce Melody Leibowitz on his knee. It's how long they've known each other. She was 21 at the time. Right, Melody? I got a whole Melody Leibowitz thing we go into. Good question. How, how old would Jackie Jocko be now, Melody Leibowitz? We had a question from, from the cadets. Um, I lost track of the math. How, how old was he when we lost him? Around 90? I think he was still playing when he was 88. I think we celebrated his birthday here when he was 88. Jacko. Well, thank you for that uh, musicology, Janice Schlau. Janice is cooking for her restaurant while she's listening. I'm not too bad. That's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. I thought you wanted to get me into your haircut business. Yeah. Anytime I mention haircuts, he mums up. It's the only way I could shut him up is to ask him how he likes my haircut. You know what I'm going to do, Nick? Tell, tell a few jokes. I'm going to, I'm going to just take, uh, since we're, we, you know, we're turning the room over, I'm just going to powder my nose, and uh, Nick's going to go around and choose everybody. No one will even notice I've gone. I can't play the piano. I can see. How about that? Very little. I say. Strange day. But for day. When I'm close to you, dear, the stars in the sky like 
I have a singing for you. I have a for, for you. Donna, I'm taking my place up here. You want to come? You don't have to No, they got great, great food here at the Hyatt. I'm, I'm sampling some of the menu items here. I knew I'd find like things on the floor. That's your M.O. <laughs> It's mine or yours? It's both of ours. Something we share. Oh, there we go. I, I don't have my job. I got too old. Too old for what? Well, I, that I thought I could. And then I sang it in the house and all that stuff. See how the cameras look. That's a good one. Let's check the. I can't see. Oh, we oh we got an issue with this one. Good thing we're checking them. See, you were right to check check the cameras. Where's the cam? Oh, no, we want white cam. Okay, white cam is working. That cam is working. This cam is working. This cam is working. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the part of Lounge Academy where the unwitting contestants of reality TV forget about the cameras and the microphones and start getting into the real, the real juicy stuff that 
good reality TV shows are made out of. We've carefully placed cameras and microphones around the lounge, counting on them to forget about them. You ever wonder on, we watch reality TV shows, let me put the camera on so you can see me. Here we go. This is me. Here we are. No, that's not the right one. Oh, we got these switched. All right. You ever wonder, you know, you watch these reality TV shows. And you wonder, there's no way these people could be behaving like that knowing they're on camera. But from doing a Lounge Academy a reality piano bar, I've learned that there, there is a, a phenomenon of human nature. If you keep the cameras on long enough, people, somehow they, they I know it seems impossible, but it must be like some form of hypnotism or something. They they forget the cameras are there, or they just don't. They, they're looking at the camera and they don't think it's there. And they really let their hair down. And this is where the good plot lines form. And and these lounge cadets. I mean, you, you could not write a script as good as what naturally unfolds in their lives. And the only reason I'm explaining this to you, not only for artistic expression and for the understanding of the type of cinema that we're creating here, but, because, so, I, but so I can buy time to eat this cheeseburger that somebody gave me. That's a real reason. But that's part of the sausage making and show business is you got to refuel after two and a half hours. Janice Schlau could testify to that because she understands food and she's seen a lot of people eat. She watches people eat every day. I'm going to give you back the rotating. Actually, they're not rotating cameras. They're um. You got um, Peter's back right now. That's that's not a great camera at all. It's also not ideal for the microphone itself. So. Oh, there's bacon on this or something. Something. Something good. Now. Is this cheeseburger gets down to be like a like the end of a good cigar? I can successfully wield it with one hand and start playing some chords in the right hand. camera angle of uh, Peter Peter's back here. We can switch it to make it more of a vista. Because I think the vista, downtown Buffalo Vista shot, is important.
Oh, yeah. Jimmy Van Heusen and Sammy Kahn, a couple of songwriter ringers. It's called All My Tomorrows. Started singing. Oh, well, you got lost in it. That's great. Today, I may not have a thing at all, except for just a dream or two. I've got lots of plans for tomorrow. All my tomorrow. Rainbows planned for tomorrow. All my tomorrow belong to you. No one knows better than I that I keep passing me by. That's fate. But with you there by my side, I'll still be turning the tide. Just wait. As long as I've got arms that cling at home, it's you that I'll be clinging to. the dreams I dream, beg, and borrow, all my bright tomorrows, they all come true. All my 
my bright tomorrows be Rub it in, how much That's fun right. we had. You're darn right I am. She'll never live it down.
wrote that one. <laughs> Thank you, Nick. to know where you are. <laughs> but when you do, that's when I'm going to pounce. I love the looks of you. It's no good unless she loves you.
Thanks for getting that table applauding. <laughs> Chair is back. straight home or are you going to go to some gin mills on the way home? Yeah, I would. Your eyes don't shine like they
I guess I'll have to play Hayachi And get myself a clown's disguise And learn to laugh like Hayachi Watching Lounge Academy. This is the epilogue of Lounge Academy. You can watch every week at 5 o'clock Eastern Time, New York Time, for those of you overseas that might be struggling to figure out exactly what we're on. fingers. Thank you. 
favorite songs I've written. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. Got my attention with that. That's why I, that thing is so well written. Imagine writing something like that. Who wrote it? I forgot who wrote it. Oh. What are you doing the rest of tonight? What are you doing the rest of tonight? Tonight. <laughs> That one, I, I, I don't have the score for it with me. That's a great um, Shelva Grand tune. Yeah, I need, the, I need the score for that one to, to do it justice, to, to not do it justice. Oh, that's great. What a great song. It's one of the most beautiful songs. We'll do that. <laughs> This was our wedding song. I say I'll move the mountains And I'll move the mountains As she wants it So shall it be Crazy she calls me Sigmund and Bob Russell. What's that? I'm not that familiar with their work. Uh, Carl Sigmund and Bob Russell, but you can't write a song like that without having a bunch of them in you now. It's just too, too much craft. Tony Kunz to the room, the maestro. Also happens to be Mary's brother, as we all know. Everyone knows Tony. Especially 
Well, thank you. Well, you, made, you helped make the night wonderful for me, Peter. Came all the way downtown. We've been waiting for the wee trying to get down here for quite a while. We'll be down again. I'm starving to death. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've been there. And when my bride is Luckily, started, somebody gave me a slider, so I'm okay. <laughs> Otherwise, by now, my gas tank is empty. There we go. There you that in. Wow. So where are you going to go eat? I don't know where we're going to go. No Who's got a good fish fry close by? Is there, is there, is there fish fry nearby? What about the flaming fish right over there? It's got an open sign. You can walk right out in there. How is that place? Well, I, I think it's good. I think they send people over there quite a bit. Yeah. So. Well, that, that could be. I mean, they probably have fish there. I mean, you'll be eating like in, in a few minutes. There we go. I mean, it's got the propinquity hey, thing going the for it. You park the car. You're all, yeah. We don't have to move. Just don't get, don't trip on the tracks or get hit by a train. You'll be fine. I've been known to do that. Well, it happens. <laughs> it's a trip hazard. I can't get used to that. I always uh, feel like I'm breaking some, some rule, like I'm going to get yelled at. Yeah. Yeah, it's just, right. Everything tells you just right. use a different route. And then how do you park? You know, people seem to be savvy and know how to do it. It's like, it's like parking on another planet. It's yeah. got these posts and different right. things that I'm just not. That's right. Well, hey, why don't we try that? Yeah, let us know how it is. You haven't been there yet. No, I haven't. Because this is not a recommendation by you. Well, only because um, they said they do. Yeah. Okay. We will tell you next time we're here. We will tell you how it is. We'll be looking forward to your your Janice Oaken like review. We had some friends that pinked out on us today. Well, they they lost out big they time. Did. Without a doubt. Now they're going to miss out on the flying fish just to top it off. Now we're good to see you. Nice to see you, Peter. Really, thank you very much for the beautiful music. Well, well, we'll thanks, be back. Thank you so much. You know, I love Mary. We've been through quite a bit musically. I, I know. It. it was a lot of fun. Frustrating at times. I miss I miss seeing you on her beat. Yeah. <laughs> used to be fun. I'm sure. out to see That's her. right. You still do this stuff at Nichols? Stephanie is working at Nichols. Not me. I'm, I'm still buying stock and selling stock, and uh, oh. still, you know, I'm with Wells Fargo. So for me, and oh, oh, I lasted you're a trader for Wells. I'm working from home. I see. He wants I'm a, to go back. I'm the hedge fund manager for uh, Amalgamated Equities. There we go. That's our retirement account. There we go. Amalgamated Equities. If you need some to put in the orders. Yeah, who needs a Meritrade when I could, I, could te I could text you? That's right. Text me anytime. I'm in front of my computer all day. <clears throat> you know, it's funny. What, what, a, what, what a couple of weeks we've had. I'm sorry? What a couple oh, yeah. of weeks, a mark thing. Hey, Ooh, listen, wow. opportunities abound. As long as, you know, you're short term, not for long term stuff. We'll see what happens. It's fun. Hey, listen. I've Call me for, when the uh, I've been in for debt market's going to melt down. <laughs> Give me a heads up, after, day before. After 42 years, we've been through a lot. Good to see you. Thank you very much for a beautiful evening. Well, thank you. you for, thanks for making it one. And I just, we will find, we will, you have to ask about that, about the signs. It must be in a, some closet somewhere like that. The signs? Yeah. I love you. Oh. Welcome. You're beautiful. Well, a lot of that stuff, um, Dave Granville um, took, had had his music put in the Buff State Library. Really? Like, like as a you know as a collection, you know, oh, to wow. preserve it. He, he did that. And it's probably I didn't ask him, but that paddle is probably there. Yeah, probably you're right. Now I I did research on that paddle, and it was an actual product that it was derived from. Some somebody had bought it for him. And it, it was called a sign paddle or something, and they're, they're, they're on eBay once in a while, the, in their original, original uh, form, uh -huh. you know, and uh, I think people would use it when they're driving or yeah, something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Like, and then, you know, and screw you. And, and then he added a few <laughs> to them and uh, right. put a lot of 
tape around. That thing must have been really I, old. It was very funny. So yeah, was I've, very got, funny. I've got some pictures of this. Yeah. I mean, do you really? Yeah, I don't very, have. I don't have every. Funny. I didn't flip through and take every. Uh, yeah. I should have. It was very funny. I mean, it's no big deal. I'm just, I, you know, I just remember that. Because I know, but that is a great the impact uh, on my daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Good to see. We'll you. get a frat paddle instead. That'll have a real impact on people. <laughs> All right. That's all we meet again. Very good. I'm looking forward to it. Enjoy the, the fish. Well, thank you, everybody. Uh, I think we're going to call it quits here before we turn the room again. And uh, quit while we're ahead here. We had a great night. Really enjoyed it. And... Uh, We'll kill the stream now and start uh, start packing up and look forward to uh, doing this again uh, next week. And uh, please join us again here at Lounge Academy on WBIG TV, right on my Facebook wall, and on, on YouTube. The reruns are at a YouTube channel called WBIG.TV. Good night, everyone. Good night, Janice. Good night, Tom Marino. See you out there. Have a great night.